Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video I will show you the process of how I color this Aquaman commission with Copic markers. I'm usually starting from the focus point of the piece. In commissions I want the focus to be on the character's face. I'm starting from the edge of the shadow and moving the Copic from the edge to the center. This way, the blending is the smoothest and there are no brush marks in the middle. I also use the chiseled part for covering larger areas. I work in layers to create depth so after each layer is dry, I go over it with the same tone and it creates a darker tone. Darker tones are necessary as well, the more I progress with the piece. Like here for example, I use a darker tone to focus on smaller details. I prefer starting with light layers, with markers and build up the tones gradually. Copics have alcohol in them, so when you start with a darker tone and switch up to a light one, the lighter tone creates uneven color blotches and lightens the darker tone. I explain a lot about it in my previous Copic tutorial, if you want to check it out. With his body, I did the opposite. To create a bit of texture and grainy feeling, I started with shadows and then did a flat yellow layer over it to blend it together. Starting with shadows was actually also to prevent from losing some of the line art. So yes, I also did that. <laughs> Sometimes to create a more painted feeling to the piece, I start with the shadows instead of inking and then I build up the layers from there but it really depends in which areas I do it it's mostly on not smooth areas surfaces like his suit that have some texture to it and never facial features For the background, I used the cool technique of using Copic refills with a cotton pad. Just a couple of drops on a small piece of cotton and then I create a stroke with it as if it was a brush. It has a very painted feeling to it and it's very easy and it's faster to color backgrounds this way. I do it only in large areas and not too close to the figure to keep it clean. Then in smaller areas close to the figure I use matching Copic markers to fill in the gaps. The finishing touches were done with a white jelly roll pen and a bit of gouache on his hair where I wanted to cover the sketch cover title. And that's it! Hope you enjoyed seeing the process. Thank you so much for watching!